Oh. You fuck. Okay, I'm fucking mad. I was just about to record a full blown Advanced Warfare Zombies video, but turns out you have to buy a DLC for that. It's 35 pounds for DLC for an eight year old game, which is like semi dead. If like 2010 Microsoft made all the Halo DLC free, why wouldn't Activision do it? Do you have any idea how greedy Xbox was 10 years ago? Jesus, man. The moment this channel gets monetized, I'm going to use it to reinvest into the channel. And by reinvest, I mean buy old Call of Duty DLC for God knows why. I'm using the KF5 stock. I don't have any supply drop stuff for it. Variants. Oh. oh, shit. Can I get up? And I guess on the topic of like Halo DLC, I genuinely thought they made it free like a year before they were gonna shut it down. But no, I looked at like the Halo wikis and shit because I wasn't really around back then. Turns out they made the DLC free like months after they first sold them. And when they did sell them, they cost like $5. Oh my God. Or something amount of Microsoft points. It was probably more than $5, but like Microsoft points, I mean, no. Zero and two, brilliant game. I did phenomenal. This guy's got full blown default gear, except for their legendary pants. The thing about the 35 pounds for the season pass is technically speaking, not mega expensive. But like you can buy like a one year old AAA game with that. Why would you spend it on old ass DLC? Also, thank God Microsoft points isn't a thing anymore. Fuck it, bell time. We've lost control. No. Sure. Okay, if I break neck. It's so fast. No. No. Wow. I was so close to not getting that. Although it is crazy to me how people say like gaming was not greedy back in the 2000s. It, it, shut up. Yes, they were. Early 2000s, I mean, yeah, 100%. But also, I mean, like if they if they could have sold DLC back then, they totally would have. Microsoft Points came out in, I mean, I know the 360 came out in like 2005. But I don't know when Microsoft Points came out. I don't think they came out at launch. Ouch, what the fuck? Connection? Amazing. Ooh. Okay, why am I suddenly popping off? I went 0-2 last game. I think Biolab is just like one of my best maps, and I think that that's what I've noticed. Every other map I do like dog shit to average. And on this map, positive KDs all around. I should just only play Biolab. To be fair, I wouldn't mind that. I actually really like this map. I, my, I still can't wrap my head around the fact that Microsoft points existed. There's this like thing where every time I praise a map, I do terrible on the map. My KD has been slowly closing up and like the moment after I've just like praised this map and said it's like my favorite one ever. I'll say Advanced Warfare isn't even like the craziest one. I'm pretty sure Black Ops 2 still costs 50 pounds or $60 and all the DLC is full price. I mean, just why? Not to mention the fact that it's probably like the worst time to buy Black Ops 2 because it's like hacked as shit and probably will be until Microsoft is forced to force Treyarch to do something about it or whoever manages those games nowadays. I think no one. Until then, I mean, I guess Plutonium exists, but like it doesn't help me find matches of Search and Destroy though, does it? I haven't played Search and Destroy in so long. None of the old games have any players on it. Nah, except for Black Ops 1, but I'm like really bad at that one. 25 and 24. It's been a while since I got that high of, of like kills of Advanced Warfare. That might actually be my highest, but like 24 deaths though. Mm. Supply drop. Yes. Give it to me. Slung. What a name. So the M1 Iron Sundown. I mean, at least I got two guns, right? But they're like mid. Fuck it. I'll take anything.